start this layout with a request. Dear Crate Paper, could you please make cardstock that matches <laughs> your cream colored base that you love to use on your patterns? Um, because it clashed way too much with the white cardstock. And while I wasn't super duper happy with the craft, I decided to go with craft. So we're gonna do lots of stars on this layout, some new products, some um, and some crepe paper cool kid. And this layout is super duper simple and easy. This is a perfect layout design. If you are at a crop or a retreat, and you know how you get to that point where you don't have enough time to uh, start and finish a really, really good layout or, or a really complicated one, you know, maybe one that has lots of techniques or one that's like, you know, kind of involved. But at the same time, it's not quite time to clean up yet because then you'll kind of be sitting there looking around. This is a layout design that works perfectly for that amount of time. So all I did was I took four sheets of six by six paper. I went ahead and I trimmed a quarter of an inch off of two sides of each of them. I put them on a grid. And then for, I'm going to decorate each one of these little six by six pads, almost like a quadrant. And my tips, of, tips and words of advice are, um, cluster your embellishments so some of them go off the edge of the page and use lots of different textures and you can put together a layout super quick like that so so quickly so I am using these mammoth stars those are the big stars from Spiegel Mom Scraps I love them they're lovely and then I'm also using some tiny stars from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'm using lots of little bits and pieces from the Cool Kid collection and those thickers, those lovely thickers up on the top, those are brand new. They're from the Pebbles. I think it's called Sunshiny Day. I didn't buy any of that collection, just those thickers because they are awesome. And they are chipboard and yes, when I went to uh, photograph this layout, a couple minutes after I created it, I took my layout to where there was good light and the chipboard letters all fell off. So they need more adhesive right out of the box. So um, I'm just going through my embellishments here. I'm creating three embellishment clusters with the cork stars and then I'm gonna use the stargazer sequins, which is more stars. So what I did here is, um, <laughs> my dog is up here now and he would like me to throw his pig. Um, I went through, I'm looking through these thicker things and I decided I want this one. I'm going to lay it under, so I'm just seeing where things fit, thing, how things layer around. Um, I took from that Mammoth Star Pack the cork, the large cork heart, one large, one medium, one small, and then I paired each of the larger hearts or larger stars with the small stars from the confetti. Now I'm just going to go through my embellishments and create these clusters. Um, very simple, easy to do. I really wanted to add the wood to these pieces and here's another kind of cool easy trick if you watch my videos a lot you know I have issues with naked tags but I really really didn't want to go searching through my stash for some twine or something to put in the hole so boop, popped on a wood veneer right over the empty hole so that you don't even have to know that it was there so these are the stargazer sequins. They're these teeny tiny little silver stars and they're so, so, so cute. I love them. So I'm just going to put a little, I think I put five around each cluster, each of my embellishment clusters. Just five little sequins. Now I'm going to grab my tiny attacher because I just think staples and boy layouts and staples and Project Life cards are just, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. So... I usually add staples to my boy layouts and staples to my project life cards. And I'm just going to trim off this edge. Now, it is about this time that I am noticing and realizing that the aqua glue that I used to glue my cork down did in fact not glue my cork down. And my cork is kind of like popping up and saying, I'm not glued down at all. So I went here and I'm going to get the Tombow Mono Multi Glue, which, ugh still giving me all kinds of problems um can't wait till the stars empty so I can get my scotch glue because it just that's what it does right there nothing comes out nothing comes out nothing comes out and then all oh, time comes out ugh 
uh, it just is kind of just, that's what it does every time I use it. It's really, I don't, I know so many people love it and use it, and I don't know, I think I'm just challenged in some way, I can't figure the bottle out. And the aqua glue did not stick my cork down at all. See, I'm just picking it right up, and the glue is like just dry on it, but not actually have it stuck down. So I don't know what, what's up with that either. But anyway, so that will complete this layout. See, so easy, such an easy layout today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little Fab Friday layout. I would love to see this if you try this kind of a layout on your paper because, or on a page because it is kind of easy and just a really, really nice um, layout design to use. So have a wonderful Friday, and I will see you again next week. Bye!